a ska scene, so I didn't really know what to expect from the crowd. You know, I played my first show with this band down in L.A., and I'm on stage there, and about the second or third song, I'm kind of flipping out because everybody's jumping on stage, stage diving into the crowd. You know, I didn't think that was a good thing or a bad thing, you know, but I guess it's a good reaction. I'm looking at the band, and they're like, yeah, I guess this is what's supposed to happen. I mean, I couldn't concentrate on my playing anymore, but, you know, if it's a good thing that they're banging their heads, you know, that's it's great. Water, Toby. Or bad Our, um, you know, we have our whole act together on stage. Like a, we're just like the whole band sort of comes alive, you know, on stage. have a tape out. It's called Say Cheese. It's a demo set that we just recorded. It's uh, six songs. Backstage to Greek, and uh, we're gonna go out and uh, talk to some of these people who are enjoying the, the Scotch the Scott Festival here. It's my birthday. Come on, let's go. So, are you having a good time at the show today? Yeah, it's great. Wonderful show. Right on. Yeah, good. Have a good time. Don't hurt nobody. So this is the bathroom line right here. Pretty long, isn't it? I'm not, I'm glad I don't gotta go right now. I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, about, about halfway there. Uh -huh. Good luck. Yeah, how are you guys doing? You guys having a good time? Oh, yeah. Having a great time, it's a blast. You're out there dancing, skanking in the pit. Skanking up the nation, skanking, working the nation. This ain't down to blue. Hey, little girl. Up tone. What's up with the uptones? You guys break up, and then you get back together again, and you break up, and you get back together again. What's going on, man? Well, we broke up, we broke up, we broke up, we broke up. It's my man Lynn here, and I'll, I'll clarify that. I'll clear that. Let's see. We broke up, and then we get back together whenever we damn well please to play some ska. And that's what we're going to hear in Berkeley, California, Greek Theater. Just because you are winning, does that mean that you're right? Just because you are winning now, To be up -toned. You guys were on Cutaway about three years ago, two years ago? Yeah, yeah, Tim did a video of us at the Stone. I still have it in my personal VHS collection, too. Woo! People late at night. Okay, good. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. It's a great consciousness raising thing, and I hope people get down to what it really means, because it doesn't belong to anybody except everybody. You just go out there and play and because you, because you love it and you feel it. That's why you do it. I agree. You, do it. you don't do it because, you know, you do it because it's all you know, even if you don't know it. You can't do it. <laughs> What's your favorite band here today? So far, let's see, what do you think? You go. Um, I'm here to see Bad Manners most of all. Oh yeah? yeah? Anyway, let's go to Bad Manners right now. I'm here with the singer of Fatty Buster Blood Vessel. What? Pleased to meet you. So, yeah, it was really good to see you guys. Uh, 
playing a lot of old stuff along with your new stuff. I love your new record. Well, yeah. Return of the Ugly. Right here. Yes. Exactly. Let's get the title. Return of the Ugly, please. So that's it. Uh, that's my segment. I hope you guys had a good time. This is my last segment of the season. But uh, I'll be back next uh, next next season with uh, more bands. And I'm also going to have a special. And that's all coming up. Until next season, see you guys later. This is Lynn signing off. Peace and love. California. Bay Area. Like San Francisco? No, we're fine. It's for audio. And what made you come here to Canada? Uh, I'm on tour. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. These are my new friends that I don't really know too well. What's your name? Oh. So you were the one you were the one riding a bicycle earlier today? Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Uh, it's kind of like a resort tour, you know, I've been on tour for nine months, and it ain't like a real tour, it's like a vacation. Very good, very good vacation. So are you going to remember this summer for the rest of your life? Yeah, I probably will, you know. <laughs> so I, I talked to Matt earlier today, I got to, I got to meet, I got to meet Matt earlier today. Matt, the bass player? Yes, sir. Is he nice to you? Um, Kinda, of, sorta. Of. I've known Matt since I was five years old. Wow, y'all grew up together. Yeah, well, he's a good kid. So, so tell me how you met the Ramones. Um, we 
met him about a year ago. I played with him in Los Angeles. And then I ended up friends with him. Joey comes on our bus. You know, they, they travel in a van still. And uh, Joey and Marky came on the bus one night. And, you know, and it was cool. I mean, there were moments on that bus. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. It's unbelievable. Any more questions? What, what made you shave your head? I, I, I had a mohawk. And I had a mohawk for like four years. And I just didn't want to be known as the mohawk guy. I was just poor. I don't know why. So, so is that picture on the uh, Outcome the Wolves, is that is that a picture of you That's with the mohawk? Box. I grow my hair for a year and then I'll shave it. I shave my head once a year yeah. and that, it grows like this in a year. It's about time. Yeah, it's almost time. In the summer when it gets real hot. What do you do for a living? I was a plumber before I did this. So how did Mark Geiger pick you? Um, I won a radio contest in Dallas and uh, I had to listen to Metallica and Soundgarden and uh, Johnny Polanski for three days and write down every song and 